In this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Sodium for Minecraft 1.20.4 so you could get a crazy FPS increase. And if you don't believe me, just look at this. This is regular Minecraft with max settings. As you can see, I'm hovering around 26, 25 FPS. And now this is me standing in the same exact spot, but this time using Sodium. And as you can see, the FPS difference is insane. Let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Step number one to install Sodium is to click the second link in the description that will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Sodium. This is a very in-depth and simple guide. I try to make it as straight to the point as possible. And if you were to have any trouble while watching this video, you could always come back to the guide and read through it. However, if you just want to follow along the video, all you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says Sodium right here. And that will redirect you to the Sodium page where you're going to download the desired version of Sodium. For this tutorial, of course, we're going to download 1.20.4, which as you can see right here, it's the most recent one. However, in the future, you might have to scroll down to find 1.20.4. Just make sure whatever version you decide to download matches your Fabric instance. If you don't have Fabric, remember, I'm going to teach you how to install it in a second. Go ahead and click on this little download error in here, which is going to start the download for Sodium. Once your file downloaded, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. If you're using Chrome, you can find it here in your recent download history. If you're using any other browser, I don't know, you could probably find it somewhere similar or you could always find it in your downloads folder using your file explorer. Now, at this point of the tutorial, if you already have Fabric installed, maybe you have watched one of our videos in the past, all you have to do is now add the Sodium Fabric file into the mods folder. And that's it. You launch your Fabric instance and you have Sodium installed. You're done. That's if you already have Fabric. However, if you don't have Fabric installed, you're going to need to install Fabric. For that, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which again is our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. This is an in-depth guide in here. If you were to have any question during this video, you could always come back and read through the guide. However, if you just want to get us straight to the point, go ahead and click where it says download Fabric Loader here. That redirects you over here where you're going to click download universal jar and that will begin the download for the installer of fabric. Once you have downloaded that file, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop, just like we did with Sodium. Now we have two files that we need to complete this tutorial. The next step is to install fabric. To do so, make sure you close your Minecraft launcher completely. I already had fabric installed in here, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to reinstall it for you guys. So go ahead and close your Minecraft launcher as well as your Minecraft game. And once you have the Minecraft launcher and the Minecraft game completely closed, go ahead and double click on the fabric installer and that will launch the installer for Fabric. If you were to have any issues while trying to open the Fabric installer, that might be because you don't have Java in your computer. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java, the software that lets you open this type of jar files. I'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to install Java 17 for those of you that don't get the Fabric installer to open. That will be the fourth link in the description. Anyways, once you open the Fabric installer, go ahead and select the version that you want. Of course, for this video, we're using 1.20.4. As a reminder, make sure it matches your Sodium version and then go ahead and click on install. Give it a second for it to install and as you can see, it has finally installed. Go ahead and click on OK and now you could even delete the Fabric installer. The next step is to add the Sodium mod to Fabric. So go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher and give it a second for it to load. While the Minecraft launcher is loading, I have to remind you about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you use the first link in the description, you get 25% off any Minecraft server that you want. It could be a Fabric server, a Forge server. You could add mods. You could install a mod pack in the server. As you can see, there's more than 200 mod packs that you could install with just one click and get that server set up within five minutes. A server that is hosted on Online so you don't expose your IP address or your computer hardware and your friends could join at any moment. Use the first link in the description for 25% off and let's get back with the tutorial. As we can see, the Minecraft launcher has already opened and if you install Fabric properly, you should have it selected here automatically. You could always head over to installations and if you don't have Fabric in here for whatever reason, make sure that modded is selected and if that still doesn't give you Fabric, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want and in the version, find Fabric in here. And then go ahead and click on create and that will create a fabric instance in case you didn't get it here automatically. Anyways, now that we have fabric installed, we're going to go ahead and add sodium. Head over to installations. Again, make sure that modded is selected and now find fabric and click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button. That would open a folder with a lot of files in here and you're specifically looking for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, I have my mods folder in here. Go ahead and open that folder. If you don't have the mods folder, however, I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. Actually, you could just right click, click new and then click folder and then type M-O-D-S to name this folder mods. And then you could create the mods folder yourself. That's for those of you that don't have this folder when you get to here. Go ahead and open that mods folder and now just drag and drop the sodium fabric file that we downloaded earlier. 
add it to this folder like that, to the mods folder, close this folder, head back to your Minecraft launcher and click play on fabric and that will open the fabric instance. It might prompt you with a little sign saying, are you sure you want to play this modded version of Minecraft? Just click yes and then wait for fabric loader to open and I will see you inside the game. Now the game has opened and I'm going to go ahead and head over to a single player world. This mod will work with multiplayer worlds as well, not just single player. Remember, if you need a server, you could always use the first link in the description for 25% off with Apex Hosting. Anyways, go ahead and launch any world that you want. And now that you're in the game, you should immediately see an improvement. However, you could always head over to the video settings by pressing escape, click on options, click on video settings. And as you can see, you will have a different menu in here that you could play around with. If you want to get more FPS, you could lower your render distance. You could lower your simulation distance. You could increase your frame rate in here. You could change the quality to fast. You could change the performance in here and you could play around with the different settings that the Saudi mod will give you. And as you can see right now, if we head over to the F3 menu, we are getting 500 FPS which is a big, big improvement, especially when I usually get just like 60, 70 FPS when playing Minecraft and now I'm hovering over the 400 FPS and that's just without doing a lot of changes to the game. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.